Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I make videos about motherhood, minimalism and Montessori. Today I am back with another product review, but this time it's not a toy. As you might know if you follow me over on Instagram, I'll put my handle in the link below, my daughter Violet just started at school. She just turned three and she has started at Children's House um, at a Montessori school where she attends every morning from 8.30 to 12 and then she's home for the rest of the day. So she's there Monday through Friday. And in getting her ready for school, um, we've tried to put a lot of things in place to make the morning routine as smooth as possible because, you know, getting little ones out the door can be something of a challenge and all the big emotions that come with starting school have certainly been kind of wreaking a little bit of havoc. One of the things I was looking for when she went to start school was a good school backpack. Last year when she was going anywhere, she used a CanCan Mini um, that I'll put a photo of and that was great for taking her water bottle, a change of clothes, a hat, but it definitely wouldn't have fit a lunchbox, let alone when you add like a jumper, a raincoat, extra sunscreen, any of the bits of paper that kids bring to and from school. So I was looking for something bigger. I did pick something up temporarily at a market store, but I could see that that was not gonna be a long-term solution. So GMT for Kids reached out to me and offered to send us one of their ultra light kids backpacks uh, for review. So this video is not sponsored, the product was gifted, but all opinions are my own. And if you've seen any of, any of my past review videos, you know that I can be brutally honest. So we're gonna take a look at this backpack, have a look at the features, see what might and what might not work for us, and then see whether this is going to be a bit of a savior on those busy school mornings. So the sturdy box was shipped to us by FedEx, and on the front it says knowledge should be easy to carry, which is gorgeous. Um, ultra light ergonomic shoulder bag from Norway, which is where the company is based. Opening up the packaging now, and you'll see there's a, a plastic covering which we'll just take off, then we'll pull out the bag. So Violet and I had a lot of fun looking at the color options and ultimately I like let her make the decision. So it's it's very pink. She likes pink, so let's just go with that. So this is a quite a stiff rectangular shaped backpack and if you look on the back here you see that it's actually molded so unlike the little backpack she was using which would just kind of crumple in on itself when she put it down this backpack can actually stand up on its own and the back of it is designed to fit comfortably onto the kids back and around their spine. Violet's school one of their rules is that the kids have to carry their own bags in and out of the school there's no parents acting as Sherpas so they have to be able to carry something and it has to be comfortable, functional and healthy for their back. And so this is one of the reasons that I thought that this would be a good fit for us. So it's got quite heavy, thick padded straps, a little handle at the top to hook it up. And then it has also got a chest clip. And then it's also got some elastic. So there is a bit of give to it, which is a really interesting strategy. They've clearly made sure that if it gets pulled, it's not going to um, get damaged or cause any discomfort to the child. And then there's, there's the adjustable part there. Obviously, both the shoulder straps are adjustable as well. Okay, let's have a look at all the pockets in this bag because there are a lot of them. The initial top pocket of the bag opens right up and are, there are a couple of little extras included here. We have a little pouch which clips onto a hook. So you could put keys in there, you could put coins in there. Um, but right now it actually comes with two little Velcro tabs and it took me a minute to realize that this little logo badge on the top of it is detachable and they can choose any one of, of three options that's themed to the bag, which is so cute, allows for some personalization. And I imagine if you had more than one child with the same bag, really allows them to, to differentiate between their bags. So I know that Violet is gonna have great fun switching those out and I just have to make sure that she keeps track of them. Well, where do you think those go? Yeah. Did you see on the top of the bag there was a special sticker? Yeah. Yeah, so maybe those other ones could go on there instead. So you can change them over and pick whichever one you want to have on that day. I'll take that one off and put this one. And then after that one, I've been on there for a long time. And I can put this one. And I will change. And there was. Also in this pocket is a rain cover for the backpack, which is quite frankly 
Genius. All right, let's have a look at these other pockets. So on the front here, you've got a half size flat pocket. And then down the bottom, there is another half pocket. On the sides, you've got two flat pockets that are elasticated and would fit easily fit the drink bottle, but they're not gaping open. Okay, onto the main section of the bag. Going to unzip around here. And inside, the first thing you'll notice is they've got a little pocket here. Now there are lots of things that you could put in here, but they put an example schedule. Inside, you've got yet more pockets. You have got a zipped pocket here, which I imagine would be good for like a spare clothes. You've got an elasticated pocket at the back to keep any books nice and flat standing up and then you've got the main pocket itself which is nice and deep plenty of room for a full-size lunchbox drink bottles anything else that you are going to put in there change of clothes jumper whatever so because the bag stands up there's really no wasted space the fabric is very thick it seems super super durable and i think that violet is going to go absolutely bananas for this bag she was very excited to choose it online so i think seeing it in person is just going to make her day. What can you see? Should we take a look? We could get out of town, see the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real fast. I'm gonna try. Okay. There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy? when she goes to hang this up on her hook in the cloakroom that she might sort of struggle to see where it is behind the height of this but I imagine that for kids that are a little bit taller or older than Violet it's less of an issue. Violet is currently about 96 centimeters she's, she's only three and that's the average height um, so if the kids are starting kindy at four or five it's going to be spot on. So yeah that's slightly short. Um, <laughs> look, Design wise yeah, I like my warm neutrals. I like my, my blush and my mustard and my tan colors. And this does not fit that. The designs are very, very bright and cheerful and fun. And if I was picking a backpack 
without any input from my daughter, then I would be probably looking for something a little bit more neutral. But let's face it, kids need to enjoy their backpacks and my daughter is very much going to enjoy this very bright mermaid design with the little sparkles on the bottom. Um, so far it's beautiful quality and we're going to see how she goes with it. Thank you so much for joining me. If you'd like to pick up your own gorgeous GMT for Kids backpack, please follow the link in my description and subscribe for more of my videos. See you next time. Hey darling, you know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright